And Cochran Sports Showdown is brought to you by number one Cochran. Go one better. And by Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. Have a greater hand in your health. All right, this happened the other day in Comerica Park. It was Albert Pujols. It's a home run. Career RBI number 2,000. Only two other players in the history of the game ever done that. The fan originally had the ball, and he didn't want to give it up, no matter what happened. He didn't think he was treated fairly at first. Then they gave him stuff. Uh, in the end, apparently, he's had a second change of mind. So, Will, you just uh, read that update there. What do you think he should have done? Should he kept it because it was That's historic? A, look, or does he keep have the to money, man. I mean, I, I think you're talking about something that on the open market, you know, put it to, give it to Southies or somebody and, make, and get, put your kids through college. I mean, I, look, Albert Pujols has got a lot of stuff in his life. He's got a lot of memorabilia in his life. If this one thing goes to somebody else, I'm fine with it. You I think mean, an it's, Albert it's, Pujols it's ball is going to put a kid through college? I think they if, there's one, well. if there's one, if there's one of Syracuse, maybe? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't get in his dining cart at Syracuse. Uh, look, I, I think the, the guy getting the ball, at some point, kind of the, to the topic of the conversation, it's got to be worth something. At some point, you're going to have a tip to no return where you're just keeping it for the sake you know, when is, a, when is a player given back to a fan financially when it comes to his contract? Like, I'm having a hard time welling up tears on behalf of Albert Poole. No one has to well up ball. tears, but it's, it's an artifact. It's an it's, it's a important uh, moment in the game's history or in Albert Poole's history. And I think that should either belong to Poole's or be in a museum somewhere it shouldn't be in well, some for a dweeb. price it shouldn't be in some dweeb's basement because he was lucky enough oh, yeah. to, to catch but the those ball. are the rules if you're a dweeb in a ballpark you get to keep the ball and be a happy dweeb that's how it works <laughs> <laughs> all right let me ask you this real quick here uh, because we're running out of time but on neil huntington's show today remember the other day the pirates had a 6-2 lead and then michael felice was melting down he eventually gave up a grand slam and it, yep. they ended up losing that game so neil huntington said every game is important but to lose a pitcher because of an injury of overuse that's bigger than any uh, loss. Okay, fine. But Clint Hurdle said afterwards, Andrew, that uh, Vasquez was only going to get in for a save. That, by definition, is a save. What should have happened there? Well, then I think what we're getting here is mixed messages because Clint Hurdle didn't say we're trying to protect the player after the game. And frankly, I think there's way too much of this where we're coddling guys. Gregory Polanco comes off the disabled list, goes four for four, and he's not in the lineup the next day. I don't get it. Vasquez last year had a stretch where he pitched five games in six days and he was at his best and the night before he'd only thrown 11 pitches when they decided not to use him against Texas. So I'm still steaming over the way they let that game uh, mm. peter away on Wednesday. I don't know. I mean, look, they, you're, that happened a couple of days after uh, where they could go behind, what, two in the 13th and get four in the bottom to win. I mean, I think these things sort of even out. In and the they end. used Vasquez in a non-save that I, day. I, I think that and if he had, if he had, if he'd, I think you're going to protect a 6-2 lead. I think the, the odds were still in the favor of getting out of that jam because it's unusual for them to give up a green. How about when it's 6-6 in yeah. the ninth? I, I think the bigger deal is you can argue one way or another whether you want to use them for a save or you want to hold them, but I think Andrew's point is the bigger one, that you're getting mixed messages. This is Jim Rutherford and Mike Sullivan talking about whether Phil Kessel was hurt or not. This is Rutherford and Sullivan talking about whether or not they should have Ryan Reeves on the team. Uh, I am concerned that there was a, a deviance there between the two on uh, what Vasquez should have been used for. Yeah, to me, those losses still add up, and you had a chance. And, and Will, real quick to your point, you said, what were the chances? Well, the way Feliz was throwing the ball all over the place, I, I'm, everyone who oh. watched the game knew he was going to groove well, one at some before point. before, he was lights out. Yeah, but, was yeah. on. Okay, but Will, once it's, okay, so let's say you leave Feliz in. It's six six going into the top of the ninth inning. Do you want Tyler Lyons on the mound? That's who you or, got. Or Vasquez. <laughs> I, I, look, I'm okay with that. I'm with okay with their man. We're talking I about one game. I want Tyler Lyons in that dweeb's basement. I, don't <laughs> think, I mean, and they have used him for four out saves before. What if they threw him in and he either gives up a hit or he tweaks his arm? Well, and they're like, why were they overusing him? That's where we'd be, right? You go down with your best guy. I'd rather do that than watch Michael Feliz fritter it away. And that's exactly what you had, followed by Tyler Lyons, who was later released. <laughs> we're out of time. We'll be back with more uh, right here on Number One Cochrane Sports Showdown.